Hello everyone and welcome back to Sliver Star Arcade and a brand new Let's Play. One that I am very, very excited for. This game supports an autosave believe to turn. Okay, so that's the autosave. Alright. Oh, you guys have no idea. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Now, I will preface. I, I, I've only ever played the first Ace Attorney on iPad, and even then I only played the first two, um, trials, which were for free. But I have watched someone play through the three main games, Apollo Justice, and the two Edgeworth games. So I know the story, but I'm going into this one completely blind. So I know how the game is played, I know how the game works. Oh wait, no, I think I played... Oh, where's the one where the first case is with a bomb? I play, you know, and there's like Aaliyah Sky or whatever. No, not Sky. Uh, the girl in the yellow dress. I played that one on iPad as well, but there was like a glitch where one of the photos wouldn't work, and so I never managed to get past the first case. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's hop right into it. Special contents. What? What's that mean? Ah, I actually have a code that I need to use on this. Yeah, so it is currently like March 20th. I got this game on Christmas and this is the first time I'm playing it because I wanted to save it for the channel. <laughs> Let's get into it. Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve. So it's two games in one. Alright, so I don't we it might take a while to play the second one, but Yeah, let's hop right into it. Oh, I, I peaked the mic. <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. The Empire of Japan. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. It's, it's voice acted too. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. Are they all like this? Ooh! But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. So the whole thing can't be voice acted, right? Because if so, what the heck am I going to do? Bienvenue à la Canavelle. The adventure of the Great Departure. Bienvenue à la Canavelle. 22nd of November, 8.43 a.m. Supreme Court of Judicature Defendants Anton Champ. All right, so history, autoplay, and options. Okay, so that's very important. There is history, so I can go back and read. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe this is happening. Okay, all right, so that's how history works. Auto. We're def I'm going to make sure not to hit autoplay. I still can't believe this. I can't believe this has happened. Neither can I. I'm finally playing this game. How can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan waiting to decide my fate? Oh, do we have to defend ourselves? What? Oh, no, nothing. Save your glares, murderer. Sorry. Hey, don't apologize. Anywhere other than Canada, that's an admission of guilt. My name is... One second, I'm gonna have to look up how you pronounce this. Ryu... Ryunasuke Nahu... That, I literally just listened to it and completely bushed it. Ryunosuke Nahu... Nahu... Hodo. We're gonna call him Rion. That's Rion Osuke. 
Hopefully someone will say it. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yume University. You know, I never thought I would miss, um... Never thought I would miss... Localized versions of things. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. And now, here I am, awaiting my trial. That's enough! Who's this? He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lawyer? Yes, and until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. Technicalities. Look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. And yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Right, Rion? Rionosuke? Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry. He is not impressed with us. What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I... No, I suppose that wasn't my fault. Rionosuke. But really, Kazuma. I know how to say that. I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Apologize. We go again apologizing. Just like always. Ah. Though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. You, my university professor, murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it. Did you? Of course not! You have to believe me, I didn't do it! I... I could never murder someone. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up, hold your head high. I mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent. Ryanosuke? Go butcher all of these. Kazuma Asogi, my best friend, also in his second year at Yume, Yume University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old, here in Japan anyways. Or, a few years old, here in Japan anyways. My qualifications don't mean much, yet... You said exactly the same thing three days ago. Oh, you... I'm gonna have to keep track of when it switches names. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Three days ago. Yes. That's when all this started. Oh, we're getting into that classic. Congratulations, Kazuma. It looks like you're going to get to study abroad at last. I know. I've been forever dreaming of this day. Finally, those government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court. So you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world? Are they calling the American system the most sophisticated system in the world? Because that's what's kind of implied here, because this is... This is not Japan's legal system, this is Japan's legal system influenced by the West. Which usually just means the states in Europe. I'm really happy for you and proud as your friend. But there's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kazuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura bellowing around his temple. I want to bring about change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Ah, so it's the British who are doing this. You know, when, you know, I should have expected that. When does this take place again? I can't remember. Then come with me. We'd have a wild time tearing up the streets of, of Her Majesty's City of London together. Uh, Her Majesty, so this is probably during Queen Victoria's reign? Which would mean that America would be just start, would be a little bit old at this point. 
not huge, maybe 50 or 100 years. If only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. Where are we going? Alright, see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. So this guy is not going to be our Edgeworth of the game, I don't think. It seems like he's going to be our Larry Butts, but not Larry Butts in any way whatsoever. Oh god, are we the Larry Butts of this story? It was straight after that, that's when it happened. Soge, may I have a word? Oh! Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Well, in this case, well, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now. Sogi, you should go immediately to the judge's chambers. To His Excellency's chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You were advocating for the defense in this trial. It was a sudden decision. It seems there may have been some confusion about the procedures today as a result. Who is this man? I feel as though I've seen him at university before. He's the murderer. <laughs> nah, I'm just guessing. I see. I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. Alright then. Ryonosuke, I'll see you in the courtroom. Yes, thanks, Kazuma. <sighs> Ugh, this is awkward. If I may. Yes, sorry? You must be the defendant. Ryonosuke Naruto, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. My name is Eugene Mikotoba. 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 Eugene. My name is Eugene Mikotoba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yumei University. Ah, Professor Mikotoba. Mikotoba. I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. Or abroad, I mean. Asoge has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. As such, I feel you should know. Know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, Asoge has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, I'm afraid that that, that permission will be revoked and never granted again. What? Ah, as I suspected, you were unaware of this. I had a, I had a feeling that Soge may have chosen not to tell you. He's agreed to defend me, knowing that if he fails, his dreams will be shattered? But I don't understand, why would the government do such a thing? The administration has to choose from a large number of applications for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. But I... I didn't do it, I swear! I'm not a murderer! I'm not sure that's true. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm sure that's true, nevertheless. Okay, I completely... <laughs> yeah, that would have been awkward. I'm sure that's true, nevertheless. I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain... peculiarities about today's trial. Oh, listen to this music. Now that's a good music. Sorry, what do you mean? You'll soon understand, once the proceedings get underway. But, then what should I do? Well... Naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Right, so... A 
as soon as the trial starts. The judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. I do? But what will the question be? Surely not... Do you accept the accusations brought before you? Of course not. Defendant! Oh, the guards... Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. My voice take it. Ah, it would seem our serpentinous sir, sir discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kazuma Asoge must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving, there's no point in anyone advocating for the likes of you anyways. This is it. If this trial goes badly- Oh, autosave. Cosmo's dreams of studying abroad are over. And what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. And so, absolutely no idea of what lay ahead, I embarked on that unforgettable trial. My one and only chance of proving my innocence. The trial that would decide my destiny. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> nah, nah we're, we're gonna keep... That would be the perfect place to cut it, but we're only 16 minutes into the first episode. 22nd, November. 9 a.m. Supreme Court of Ju... Of Ju... Jik Bleh. Courtroom 2. So this... Is a courtroom. I never liked how we were the Supreme Court of Judicator. No court in the land has more power. I never liked how we were always on the um, on the right. Because in every Ace Attorney game, when it does a wide view, it always looks like we should be on the left. And even with the way we are in the game, it looks like we should be on the left, but we're always on the right. I, eh, just a nitpick. I don't much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and army uniforms in there. The powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. Well, we're doomed. Simple as that, we're doomed. I think this is the most I've ever peaked the mic. A secret trial? A trial that's closed to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. Yeah, because that's not shady at all. What? But why? It'll become clear in time. But for now... You need to concentrate, Reno Soke. Reno Soke, it's about to begin. <laughs> oh. Did not expect the judge to look like that, but it looks like we got Max Payne. Or, not Max Payne. The court will now hear the trial of Ryunosuke Naruto. Uh, what? Oh, there's a cat behind me. Ouchie. The prosecution is ready, your excellence. As is the defense. Before we begin, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of ad advocate. That's correct, your excellence. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to the trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? This is it. This must be the question. Oh no, we're going to get tricked into defending ourselves. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor met. But then, if I say I do... I need to answer quickly. What should I do? Can we save? Oh, look at this. 
amazing. I do. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I'm standing here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear who will advocate for his yes! defense. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we're doomed. What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? I... I would like to inform the court that... That... I, Ryanosuke Naruto, will be defending myself. You'll be... What? What are you playing, Ariosuke? Professor Mikotoba told me everything just now before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of staying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off? Luka Jin's gonna have a real great time with this. No, it's not that, really. It's just that, well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... I think this is what we had to do. Yes, I knew that's how you'd feel. It's exactly why I decided not to tell you. <laughs> Professor Mikotoba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. Very well. Very well. The court hereby recognizes the defense desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already, renouncing his own counsel? Really? So instead of his hand, it's a fan. Clever. Objection! Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent, he's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, Naruto-san? Hmm? Oh, yes, exactly! Exactly what I wasn't thinking, I'm not confident at all! It's the face! In fact, my mind's completely blank. What is with this pose? I realize you're in charge now, but still, try not to look so bewildered. <laughs> well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court, he must have perpetuated a most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of the Judicator of Japan. According to <clears throat> the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all present. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruto? Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? This is a little loud for me. He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. <laughs> I love the rain in this game. So let's start with a very s the very simplest of questions. Oh, um, yes. Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I heard his name more times than I care to remember. But, wait. Ugh, I'm so nervous. I can't even remember that. What was it again? Ryanosuke. Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. Um, you know so you know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. But but I can't even find that. It's simple. You can access the court record with a press of R. If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. I just have to press R for the court record? Alright, there's no time to lose. This is a list of the evidence you've collected. Now try switching the people instead with R. Oh, we get profiles! We have profiles! You'll find details about the victim in there. When you're done, just press B to go back. Kasuma Asogi, 23. A second year at the Imperial Yumi University. He's a, my best friend and despite being a student, a qualified defense lawyer. 
Eugene Mikodo Mikodoba. Mikodoba, a medical professor at the Imperial University. He's an authority in forensic medicine and Cosmos Mentor. Taksuchi Aochi. Takasuchi, yeah, Takasuchi Aochi, the lead prosecutor of this case, who would appear to have little love for the charges of cultural reformation he's brought about. Oh, little for the changes cultural reformation has brought about. Okay. And John H. Wilson, 47, the victim of this case. He was visiting Professor Medicine from the... Oh. He's a foreigner from Britain. That's probably why this is such a big case. So remember, everything to do with the current case can be found in the court record. Look at this badge. University color pin. Proof that I'm a student at the Imperial UMA University. I always wear it on the color of my uniform jacket. Post-mortem report. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. and was caused by loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's body. Victim, John H. Wilson. Male, British. Time of death, 19th November, shortly after 2 p.m. Cause of death, single bullet fired at close range. Fatal hemorrhaging from pectoral ballistic trauma. No exit wound, bullet did not pass through the body. All right, not allowed to go off, but let's do this. Now you better not keep his excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people section. Court records, then press X to present it. Try it now, okay, X. Yes! Yes! The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. <laughs> huh. Well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England, invited to UMA University three years ago. Indeed, which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together after lengthy negotiations. There can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. Is that a real thing? One second. The Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Com Commerce and Navigation, signed by Britain and Japan on the 16th of July, 1894. It's a breakthrough agreement heralded by the unequal trees of the system of extraterrestrial Japan. Um, and then there was a separate Anglo-Japanese friendship treaty. Uh, ended a 220-year policy of nation seclusion as a result of the ports of Nag Nagasaki and Hakoda. Hakodate were open to British vessels, and Britain was granted more favored nation status than other Western parts. All right, so, so yeah, it's a, it's a huge deal, like huge, huge deal. Whoops. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilt on our soil. One second, everyone, I gotta get one. I don't know how Lucagen does it. Yeah, uh, I got I, so I got some water. Englishman's blood and spilled on so. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Union University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education. Have you no honor? Ugh, but I didn't do it. The case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court therefore wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. Hence, the trials must be done in three days or less. <laughs> in other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has the unusual peculiarities, isn't it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. Well, let's hope that uh, the real criminal shows up as a witness who we can then trap in court. Yeah, that'd be most convenient.
All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. Hey, the nationalities and trees won't make any difference for me here. Now he's again serious. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. What happened there when I said high class? See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. So it's simply believed believe that they're speaking Japanese right now because they have to go to English class. British Empire. Wow, it's incredible to think. Wait. I've seen that man at university. I'm sure he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still. I should go and say hello. So I went over to the professor's table. And introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Nahudo. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? <clears throat> State before the court the cause of death. The cause of death? Well, obviously that was, um... Suke. Remember that in court, every assertion must be backed up by evidence. By evidence? But how? Especially when most of this game will just be me fumbling into the answer. Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death, and select present. Do it now! Post-mortem report. Oh wait, I forgot. Present is X. Yes! Yes! Um, well... According to this document, the victim suffered a hemorrhagic death due to gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile. That's the postmodern report, I take it. Sorry, yes, that's right. The uh, postmortem report. In the West, doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, the police officer merely inspects the body draws the conclusions that way. So in other words, it's a faulty system. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is the so-called photographic... Oh wait, sorry. One second. This is the so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. Is that, is that gunshot in his steak back there? You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Thank you, Counsel. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into court. The, the photographic print of the victim has been entered into the court record. So that's a photographic print. Wow, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I'm satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. In the next episode. Uh, I don't know how the pace is out. Alright, we'll, we'll keep going for now. Oh. Certainly, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in order to better apprise the court with the facts of the case, the prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. Ugh, this is it then. Hmm, I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Mikatoba? Yes, clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Ah, of course. When he was speaking with me before, he simply said, 
Kazuma Asoki must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Hmm. He really has been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? Maybe, but uh, any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is rein in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. Hey, nah, it runs in the family, alright? So, I keep hitting that. It runs in the family. The cold sweats ain't going nowhere. Oh, you can hit R, R or ZR. That's good to know. Only if you're in that crazy headband and control the cold stairs. First. Oh, it's this guy. Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Of course. My name is Satro Hosanaga. Hosane. Hosanaga. Or is it Hosonaga? Hosonaga. Satoru Hos Satoru Hosonaga. Sad Hoso is what we're calling him. I am the head waiter at the Western style restaurant called La Conevelle. <coughs> oh, that's blood. Um, are you alright? You seem to be coughing up some. Er. Uh... It's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. Well, it really, really should. As everyone knows, the capital's southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This crime, this grim crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants in Occidental Eatery three days ago. Understood. Hosonaga, Hosonaga-san, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. I'm so excited. At once, sir. And no petty interjections from the aspiring lawyer boy, please. Oh, um, pers perspiring maybe, but aspiring? It was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have few dinners at that time of day. Oh, we have few diners at that time of day. The lunchtime rush was over, and there was only three tables still occupied. That fits with my memory of it, too. There was hardly anyone else in that place. <coughs> Ugh, that was a real cough. Water went down the wrong pipe. It was when I was in the kitchen, putting away the crockery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried to the dining area to see what happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. And standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university student. Yes! Yes! Hold on. Let me just clarify something here. While I did pick up the gun that I found lying on the ground beside the professor, I, I didn't shoot him. Objection! Objection! I believe I asked you to refrain from petty interjections. See, I got his voice right. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur. But... The next time you interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized, defended Naruto. Don't worry, Ryanosuke, you'll have a chance to fight back. For now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. Uh... If I may confirm one point, waiter. Standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court... Oh, standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. <coughs> yes, without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? No. There was no one else around the table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. Huh? Wait, what did he just say? There was no one else around that table? What's the matter, Rion? It's okay. That's... 
That's just not right. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello... Ooh, there was a woman sitting opposite him at his table. Really? That's not something the waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Uh, save is what you should do. Interject. Yes! Just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Objection! Objection! Dear me, dear me, what are we going to do with you? With your blatant disregard for court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? But I'm sure of what I saw. Hasanaga-san, is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of the events is hazy? No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I- I don't believe it! <coughs> mm. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Oh, that's convenient. Please, have a look if you'd like to. Yeah, that's just something normal to have. Let me see. Ah, a sketch of the establishment's layout drawn by yourself, I presume. That's right. I'm afraid they used the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. And we can't tell that from anything. All I see is circles and chairs. And one red X. This... Well, you're clearly a very conscientious waiter. Thank you, sir. The court will take this plan and add to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well... Is there a problem? And the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Here you are. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> Is this just gonna lose? Something certainly seems to have shaken him. The waiter's business card has been entered into the court record. <coughs> So, the court has now heard the, a, pre a precis of the case. Yes, at the moment the gunshot was heard in the restaurant, the only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant of the trial today. It would seem we are looking at a black and white case here. The defendant, Nahudo. Yes, Your Excellency. If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some smaller reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I called this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the de I called this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. But you must warn the defense if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial. The prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. What do you think- what do you think I should do, Kazuma? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be found guilty one way or another, it seems. I'm going to be sensible to plead guilty at this stage and hope for a more lenient sentence. Everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual about these peculiarities. You've said it, Professor McCordobo said it, and so has the judge and the prosecution. I'm, I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. As I said from the, uh, from the outset, I believe you're innocent. I trust you. And yet despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face, is that it? What? If the accused is in fact innocent, then the defense lawyer is duty bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary. 
Are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet, Rion. It's okay. The defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency. We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. Then we will see just how decisive this evidence really is. Well then, we're into the thick of it now. Indeed. Prosecutor Ochi, please continue with the proceedings. Well, you were warned. The young can be so reckless. You know, many called me a saint, but I can be a devil when I want to be. Ugh. In a few short moments from now, that dumbstruck young mouth of yours will be silenced. Forever. The prosecution calls its next witness. Very well. Officer, bring forth the witness at once. Or witnesses. Alright, time to readjust my seat. Oh, these guys. Yeah, we saw them. Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. Yes, sir. The great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant Ice. Yeah, I say knows a report for duty, sir. Myself, I find employers approve of fine art articles of antiquity from the effluences of our nation, Nippon, and conduct my trade from your city, a humble premise in the second district, Kyo, Kyori, Kyorio, Kyorio, Korakuta, Korakuta, at your service. Antique dealer, a soldier. What unusual parrot. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. They must be the diners at the other tables that the waiter mentioned. My, myself, I, hab I habitually take tea of the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question. Almost, po almost always post-noon. And not infrequently, converse with interested parties regarding the curious with which I make my business. I can't understand a word that old man is saying. He's an antique dealer. It sounds like he's a regular at La Canavale. He seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. He obviously targets La Canavale because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Right, I see. Although, to be honest, that sergeant looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. Now, you have witnessed the precious moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative. The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir. It was that black uniformed rogue infantryman over there who unloaded his firearm, sir. This man's as impossible to understand as the other. But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during the last thing he said. Oh, I heard that. So, this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldier's claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes. Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. <laughs> How many times- If you took a shot for every time that gavel went down in this episode alone, you'd probably get a pretty good buzz going. Now the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment from that- uh, ah, That incident occurred. Sir, yes sir. Stand by ready to report, sir. What's that sound? Hmm, unsavory memories of the most er acerbic afternoon. Witness testimony, we're finally getting into the game. What the witnesses saw. I was ingesting a regula regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a technical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, 
a firearm was discharged. I observed, I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian. From the back, the and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Wait. But the bullet was in the front, and it didn't go through. I'm a genius. So, well, so you, S S Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir, affirmative, sir, that wicked university cadet, sir, the cruel and unforgivable enemy. What a time we live in when English gentlemen may be assailed in the broad light of day. Jesus, old man is packing heat. But, but this is ridiculous. I ain't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Rihanna Soke? Okay. Oh, hey, gotta make dinner for myself. Uh, uh. Oh, that was a bit of a long break. Anyways, back to the game. Yes, all I did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and s sat drinking some coffee. Why did I say coffee, sir? Then, when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. English-made gun. Oh, so it's not Japanese-made. <sighs> One second. Oh, nice revolver. I'll listen to this music. Oh, now that's some good music. I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down and just as I was picking it up... BANG! Okay. Well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimony, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. There is? Yosuke. You must exercise your right to cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? Do it now. As we have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice. Certainly. The testimony the court has just heard eliminates any vis vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my brave duty to declare the verdict of this trial. Yes! Why does he say yes and not objection? What in the name of the Emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am, er, I mean, the defense demands its right to, cro to a cross examination. Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. Hachimaki headband boy next door told me to do it. How pathetic. Huh? How do you know? The prosecution objects. This is clearly a waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How could he possibly carry out a cross examination? Objection! The defense is asserting its right to cross examine. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. Kazuma is so commanding. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross examination of the witness. Alright, this is where the battle really begins, Ryanosuke. Or Suke. Ryanosuke. I'm never gonna get that name right. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies in the witness statements. How? You didn't fire the gun means what the soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but it's just a case of proving it. And the key to doing that is the evidence. Right, evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. I know how to do that. Like, the, like 20 minutes of text, I figured it out like 
a hundred walls of text to go. Now let's go, Ryosuke. Don't let them beat you. <laughs> Just a small whack. All right then, it's all or nothing. Yeah, he doesn't quite have the phoenix thump. Cross-examination. What the witness saw. Finally! Oh, hey, so those are our bars up there. I was investigating a... Oh, man. Myself. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. In my own eyes. Black uniformed. Fired on the English English. And from the back, no less. That can't be true because he was shot from the front. Present. Yes! There, see? Super simple. Nope, he's sweating. What, what are you playing at, cadet? What is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache. In inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes. <laughs> There's a clear inconsistency here. What nonsense. What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well, obviously, that, um... I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. <laughs> I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in the grand in this grand courtroom. Hmm. Ah, this is so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Kazuma? What? Ooh, listen to this music. What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance of the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here with the, sur with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Issei Nosa. Yes, sir. What is it? The statement you just made was this. Black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed the crime with my own military grade eyes. Yes! But no, that just can't be. And why not, cadet? Because, 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 oh, he's looking at his friend. Take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? But, um, I, er, well, er, um. What? The. What was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. Certainly, there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Until I heard the moment firearm discharge, my eyes were... Firmly fixated on the delicious La Cavanaugh steak, sir. What? That last testimony of the Curtis Hood proved one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant I say no, sir. I yes say no, sir. Did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Ugh, that's... That's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. 
This is going to be a long episode. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Ooh. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Inconsistency seer award. There's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial. Just from that one discrepancy. Oh, yeah, no doubt. You'll get used to it. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. Jesus, they want to lay it on thick. I'm out of water. But, but I definitely saw him. That university cadet, there, he was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back. Yes! But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. And you, old man. You didn't see the moment the victim was shot e either. Myself, I've already been quite clear. That gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. Treasure. Indeed, the Holy Era Koban, my prized coin. Each occasion when I visit that restaurant, it is my habit to place in my bosom pocket a particular trinket of interest from my shop, Rusey T. In the hopes of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you. On the day under scrutiny, it was to the military man that I prof proffered my hoy treasure. I believe that he would purchase such a rare find I did not, but I was presented with little alternative. And then, after I averted my eyes for the briefest of moments, it wasn't there no more. It simply vanished. The cobine vanished? I did have it on the table as I was, in case my, they happened to fall in there. And then it happened. You heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did. But I heeded it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded hoy treasure. Nothing can distract me. Out of interest, did you find the coin in the end? No. Hmm, I see. That lamentable day, the precious hoy cobot was lost to me. No doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. As I am sure everyone present is aware, this case demands a swift and decisive rev resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels it must be to the British... It would be unforgivable to deliver, deliver a verdict on this trial right now. What is your position, Prosecutor Ochi? <laughs> Worry not, Your Excellency. The defendant may have fled a trigger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. Or may a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. Ooh, listen to this music. My witness have further testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant, Ryanosuke Naruto. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Uh... Very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You have thoroughly explained the reason behind the prosecution's allegations. Is that clear? As clear as Kuriko glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Awain, Awain signal to testify, sir. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative, the newest member of the Nosop family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name, Ido. Hmm. It would seem those straps are assigned with the surgeon being too strapped to afford a nanny. <laughs> Take a picture of that. Ido, Teen Shun. 
Your father is about to quail the enemy. Watch and learn, my boy. I don't teen shun at attention. I don't teen shun at attention. The true culprit. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firing was discharged, it was almost the same thing. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young lad in black. That much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that they were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Hmm, these testimonies are certainly yes. compelling. Yes! Wait, that's that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Attention! If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic, evi has photographic evidence of this fact. This is a photographic print of the scene of the crime council. Indeed. Of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by an investi investigator immediately after the incident, as you can plainly see, there's only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Maybe they just didn't eat. You ever think of that? Ugh, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. The photographic print of the crime scene of the night. Okay, man, give me a... I don't understand. Neither do I. Give me a second. These must have been taken at two separate times. Cause look, the steak is... Yeah, see? In this photo, the steak hasn't been touched at all. I mean, unless that's just a discrepancy, but... What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I, I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witnesses' testimony we've just heard leave no room for further doubt. Or no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takasuchi Aochi, will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires is an honor. Hey, we got this iconic. It really does run the family. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Stand tall, Ryosuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it. To draw out the truth in your cross-examination. I... I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witness, but make it quick, understood? Who else can be so unbending at times? Ugh. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the fire was charged, it was almost the same. Uh, oh, we can press everything. Yeah, let's do that. Yes. No, 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 it's not the same thing at all. For a start, I didn't fire that gun. 
We have a difference of opinion on that. The opinions of a uniformed officer versus that of a fledgling cadet. I don't think so. Consider this, defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it is an undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Uh, have what? Tension! The sound of the firearm rang in my ears in the very next moment. I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you? And let us not forget that the anti's deal with this the accused in this moment in criminal position as well as that so Curry Kid Tucson. Yes, pointing his gun to bring this man was that young man black that Yes! So they're gonna have to press everything until something Yes, it may be true that I was holding a gun point in no time. But I've told you already that's only because I picked it up off the floor. Well, obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it away. I had just finished drinking my coffee and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. At exactly that moment... Bang! A gunshot rang in my ears. Hmm, full of events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which precipitated this test in predicament. Whereas, conversely, I failed to pick up the coal mine from the floor and find myself in an equally test in predicament as well. Anyway, the fact remains, myself, I did see you. With a pistol in hand, standing over the foreigner. Furthermore, a visual search of the premise at the time confirmed that there were only... That there were only person was present. Yes! You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. Objection! As you have been, as it, as you have been, I pains to point out this time and again, I feel I'm growing a callus on my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. If only there had been more people dying in there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. A quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know, of course, the place was almost empty. I know, of course, the place was almost empty. It's what you expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day, and why he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Counsel? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Hotter Clinic. Like Hardy's Clinic? No way. Indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. The very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder... What do you think, Rios? Rion Osoka. Rion Osoka. Uh, well, it is hard to see how he could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Should I ask for it? Absolutely! Ask for it to be submitted. Yes! I don't like that his thing is yes. It should be like, objection, or hold it, or gotcha. If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Uh... The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Objection! 
Whether or not they are of a concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I, I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request to, for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. Oh, you're sweating now, boy. Youngsters these days are forever certain they're right. It's a most, it's a most disturbing trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. Alright, cool. Now, I need to take a look at that. What we need right now is new clues. Oh, we can't look at it. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. <laughs> you can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you'd like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you'd forgotten that these witnesses' testimony leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Karuko-san. Indeed, alone he was, Englishman, dining all by himself. Alright, well, uh, press that. Yes! So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone? That I did. Forgive me for the position I place you in. So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on this point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget, the incontestable evidence we have to support this statement as well. As clear, there's only a single beef steak on the victim's table. A meal for one. No. Hmm. The antiques dealer, the sergeant, and the waiter who testified before. It's not possible that they're all lying. But if so... But if so, then why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely- If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. This is gonna be a long episode, we're in for the long haul. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched Englishman. Over and out. Yeah, sure, let's yes! that as well. Why aren't you telling the truth? What- What did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Unfortunately for you, Defendant Naruto, it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right. Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And if none such proof exists, Prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. <laughs> Excellent work, Ryonokasan. You've gleaned some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? Oh, new mechanic. You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Press A and you can take a closer look at the piece of evidence in question. Use... Da, 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 da. Ah, classic. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using, blah, blah, blah. Ah, okay. Awesome. 
You can move the crosshairs around the hunk of clues that you may have missed before. If the crosshairs start to pulsate, press A to investigate further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learned by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do! I need to use ba 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 ba, -ba and A to inspect the main areas that look suspicious. Oh, now this is awesome! It says hot a clinic in this medical report card. I hate clinics, almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life. And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. Brr, I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Most people would give their right arm to have only had one cold in their whole life. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people for illnesses like that. Let's keep looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Is this written in Japanese and they just didn't translate it? They just add subtitles? Name, Mr. John Wilson, Hala Clinic. Medical report card required for every visit. Dentist, Hala Clinic. Date. Oh. It looks like this medical report card was first issued quite some time ago. It's probably a report of long-term treatment, that's why. With a family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can't imagine going to a doctor, I mean. As long as I'm alive, I've never consulted one. Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So you don't like doctors, then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible tasting medicine, they give you painful injections. And then they demand lots of money from you for the privilege. All when you- all when you're at your lowest ebb. You sound like a model patient. The bad key is stubbornness, no less. For which the only cure is a very bitter medicine indeed. Healthy curiosity. Let's open the darn thing. Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. And, ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with top, topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he had had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Ah, there's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for the three hours post-procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. The medical report card's information has been updated in the court record. Yes! With this new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Man, this is probably going to be the longest video in the channel's history. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment fired, it's almost the same thing. He was a young lad. Furthermore, video. Indeed, alone he was dining all by himself. Incorrect. Well, whoops, no, I gotta use X. Yes! Music stopped, which means we got it right. Um, er, uh, well, I think, um, I don't want to be withering, lad. Call, you, call yourself a lawyer. I wish I could. But first and foremost, here, I'm the accused. Ryonosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Don't feel like you haven't. You have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. You probably should choose your words carefully, though, because it's your life in your hands in a court. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, I forgot to read that last part. Oh, one second. So, 
I can't believe we have to do this again, but apparently I never unpaused it. So I got like five minutes past this point, but I now have to make a new video. All I can say is thank God for the auto save because the other saves were like an hour back. Ah, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement. Something clearly doesn't add up. Attention! Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my word so soon, amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But... Let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. Uh, but... but that's... um... Remember, Ryosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. This is surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card is no bearing on the matter at all for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale-faced pupil who could have possibly- I still didn't get to read it. This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. He did the slam. Okay, I'm actually recording. I had such a perfect run when I originally did this. Now everything's going wrong. Do you really believe that? What? This outburst- that outburst half petrified me, boy! Of course I believe it! How can I- how could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hot Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted? What's this now? And furthermore... If I told you that as a result the victim had been forbidden from eating? Ooh. J just why are you saying, cadet? He had orders not to eat? So what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that, that can't... Kurakuda-san. What, boy, what? As you've just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. He's finally getting that confidence in him. Because the victim, as we now know, had, had just had just had one of his teeth extracted, and was still experiencing the effects of the, anest the anesthetic. Ah! Expertly done, partner. Oh, listen to this music. Oh, I like this. Attention! What? What is this nonsense, you little upstart? These are baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the play of food at the victim's table. Objection! Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant's case have turned. Wouldn't you agree, Rion, Rionosuke? Hmm? Yes, most definitely. He's not fully there yet. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beef steak? 
court will hear the opinion of the fence on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that that means me, doesn't it? All right, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of your turning, of you turning the trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um, the person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been the victim himself, me, two witnesses, an as yet unknown third party. Obviously, it can only have been someone who el someone else who has been sitting at the professor's table. Attention! You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person. Yes. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was someone else there eating it. Ugh. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witnesses' testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma, are, are you insane? You, you wouldn't take on the government. Don't worry, Council. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have an issue with them. Those two witnesses in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that these two, that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Is this guy supposed to be Edgeworth? I don't think he is. Is he? I don't think he's supposed to be Edgeworth. Or our version of it. Edgeworth? Perjury. And, since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit? In murder? No! Negative! There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. That's right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they er, told us. Oh. What? What did you just say, Kurakuda-san? Oh, I uh, don't know. You were just following orders? Now, hold on, lad. I was, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman. Er. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? Attention! What? What is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. Order! Order! Council! Explain what was going on here. It's painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not! The prosecution knows nothing of this! Th th who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, um... That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... You wouldn't. This can't be happening. Reno Suke. Judging from the way they react to me, this. I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. Why do you say it? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. Only have been the government, the military, or or the police, I suppose. Well, any idea about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, 
that we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to keep the wind. Make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it really was wielded his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty, penalty will be severe. Please, wait, Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god. I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this, hmm? Um, well, uh, Your Excellency, uh, no time to think. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes into my head. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witness is... I think it's this guy, but it also could have been this guy. I'm gonna say this guy. Yes. Well, surely that would be Satoru Hosonaga-san. Hosonaga-san, the waiter who took the stand earlier. Attention, puppycock. What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If, that is, the man truly were a waiter. What? If he truly were? This is going to be a long episode. Come on, Ryoko-san. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Sarah's real identity is proven by this evidence. We need to examine everything. Um, this plan of the restaurant raises a number of questions, I think. Definitely, it's supposed to show the relative position of everything in the moment following the incident. But there's nothing to show the woman you saw. Exactly, and that's not all. Look here in the upper left. It says kitchen. Hmm, oh yes, what of it? No one would use these complicated characters to write kitchen, especially if not if they were in a hurry. You mean you don't remember those characters yourself, don't you? Study harder, Ryoko-san. Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see it says the witness's name here? Satoru Hosanaga. Well, yes, business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's unexpected. It's his job title. His job? Oh. Chief Inspector Satoru Hanaga. Primary Criminal Investigation Division. Imperialist Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea, but let's face it. The police have a lot of power and influence. They're wielding it somewhere here. Waiter's business card. All right, well, that's all we needed. Present. Yes! The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question. Hmm, I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency, that's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's of interest. I beg your pardon? Or, I perhaps I say it's the front? Yes! It's the front of the back of the card. That's where the tail and detail is. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hosanga san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession, his true profession. The waiter's profession, but that's surely good good gracious. That's right, your excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bu Bureau. What? The, the waiter is 
A police detective? I, I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power. Absolute power as far as the regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses there on the stand... Was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you've seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Well... Who's in turn? Ah, he's back. It Inspector Hos Inspector Hosanaga. Oh, listen to this music. Oh, that's amazing. I was worried something like this might happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketches evidence, I realized it was a possibility. The court will take this plan and add to the courtroom as evidence. Oh, um, well. Is there a problem? And the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Here you are. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusual, careless mistake. So, you mean to say, you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, uh, of course! Your salary must be terrible! I work, I was working undercover. That is hilarious though, because Gumshoe is also a detective and he eats, and he, he gets paid Dirt poor. He eats like 90 cents ramen noodles every night. I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes, there has been a series of incidents at the restaurant lately. Lately. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter, working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Osanaga, but you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you that at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true, clearly you would also have been aware of this person's presence having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner, therefore I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you required these witnesses to be in an agreement. Would that be correct? <laughs> Correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable! Hmm, as I suspected. Bang! As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite of the victim at the time, at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an English woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say, remove the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the Englishwoman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. This is going to be the longest episode in the history of the channel. But, but what if this Englishwoman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. 
An Englishman has been murdered on our soil, to name an Englishwoman as a primary suspect. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right! So what, we just gonna drop the trial now? One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yumei University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain, and I'm fairly certain that one of them, studying in the Medical Facilities Research Laboratory, is a young Englishwoman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. You mean... When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English woman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselia Brett. She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yume University's medical facility. What? What is happening here? I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene. I ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in her testimonies. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this situation. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a peculiarly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. However, we have now discovered that this premise is false. And it would be a discretion, discretion, or discretion of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling on this point. Objection! But, but, your excellency! That would be missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraph report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, counsel. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. Hey, look at that. We got, we got a judge with a spine. That's new for this series. Inspector Hosanaga. Yes, sir. You will locate Jez... Gisalia Brett and escort her to the courtroom with utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But, but this means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So it won't be a problem? <coughs> Nothing will get in my way. You know, if it wasn't for the fact you tried to frame me an innocent kid for murder and have me hanged, I would think this is a real co cool moment. <coughs> Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student Giselia Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Your Excellency! Good. We will have a 30 minute recess before reconvening. Oh, fudge! To be continued! I think we're gonna cut it here. So. Is it. Alright, so we're gonna cut it here. So. Thank you all so much for watching this first episode of The Great Ace Attorney. Thank you so much for watching. I'm probably going to do the I'm probably going to do the next one now cuz I want to finish this case. So as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.